purchase these styles with my own funds from Wig Studio One, be sure to expand the description box below. You'll find a link to the product where you can explore all of the details and pricing. Nima is a short, voluminous, layered style bob. It has a beautiful fringe, a longer crown, and a stacked back. But first, let's get into this brand new color by Noriko. This is called Peach Gold. I was very excited to experiment with this color. It looked really soft, subtle, and beautiful in the color swatches. And you have to really, really embrace uh, more of a fashion sense when you're wearing this color. I think it's very, very fun, and it will really accentuate an outgoing personality. So it starts with a base color of a very pale, kind of a baby soft gold. And then blended throughout is a very soft, peachy pink. That peachy pink is very well blended all throughout the style. You're not going to see any bold, chunky highlights or streaks. It all just melts together in a very nice baby soft creamy blend. And this peach gold is not rooted. That will make a lot of you very happy. Um, I can see that if you really love platinums and you like just a touch of some other more fashion colors like a gray or a pink or a blue that you see so often in these fashion shades, I think you're really going to love and enjoy the personality on this color. So just a word of caution, if you're really considering this color, if you have dark natural hair underneath your wigs, you may need to use a light beige or cream colored nylon wig liner just to kind of bind up and obscure the darkness because what's happening is this is such a light bright color that any any time you have any biological hair sticking out beyond the wig line or through a weft you're really going to be able to get a sense of that darkness underneath now if this were a rooted color that wouldn't be a problem but be set, but since it is not a rooted shade you're really going to have to watch your own biological hair the coverage at the ear tab is not as good as some other Noriko and Renee of Paris styles that I have explored. So the what's happening here is that they've rounded that ear tab. Instead of making that ear tab uh, come out with maybe more of a, a steeper angle, it's more rounded in nature. And what that does is it leaves uncovered a lot of bio hair there at the front. And like I said, with a rooted color, it would not be a problem for me because all caps fit a little bit differently, but because on this color, uh, you can really sneak in a look at this biological hair here. So if this were a color that I was really excited about wearing, knowing that I'm not gonna get the best coverage at the ear tab, I would probably go ahead and shave off a little more of that sideburn. So just be aware of some of the coverage issues that this particular color may present for you. Let's dig in real quick to the measurements. Um, you want to know what your measurement is from hairline to chin so you can tell where these fringe layers are going to fall on you. In the description, it says it's anywhere from four to five and a half inch fringe. I think that's true. We've got that first layer striking you probably just at the top of your cheek. And then that second layer, five and a half, is probably going to come in just below the cheek. What that creates is a beautiful face framing effect. And it really kind of cuts down on the heaviness of the fringe. I like a light, wispy, feathery type fringe. And the more layers you put in it, the more of that effect you're going to have. So another thing that I really enjoy about these measurements, uh, knowing my own preferences, is that it has a 7-inch crown piece. I know if that crown is over 4 inches, between 4 and 8 inches, I think, is really my preference for a stacked style like this because it gives you a beautiful high crown area, um, especially on a Noriko where you know there's gonna be a lot of permatease. You're gonna get a nice voluminous high crown. That's gonna taper down into about a two and a half inch nape. I think, again, I think that nape is very ample. However, my biological hairline at the nape is a little bit longer. So on this particular color, you may see through to a little bit of my natural hair. This 
weighs just under three ounces, so it feels really nice and light on the head. And then it features just a basic cap, a basic machine-made cap. So you won't find any lace or monofilament. And if you check out the prices, uh, this is really priced very nicely, especially when you can take advantage of some of the industry discounts, such as the promo code BEAUTIFULYOU at Wig Studio One will get you an additional 30% off, which I think will bring this down to right around $100. There's a lot to love in this style for that price. So let's drill down on this style a little bit. So you, you've got a fringed bob style cut with a nice high back, tapered, uh, tapered nape. Now what you're gonna find is that there's a lot of volume and height. There's glamorous volume on the style. And somebody had remarked one time in the comments that um, they like the style that I was wearing, but when they get it, it kind of looks bulbous and it's just too high and too voluminous. Well, I'm here to tell you this is high and voluminous. Um, it looks great. I love that kind of style and you have to love that kind of style too. What will happen is the permatease will settle on the style some when you, when you start wearing it. And you can accelerate that process just by maybe washing it first and, and allowing it to dry. And just a little bit of, of wear will help that. Um, I love the sculpted shape of it. It's big, high, and voluminous all the way through the crown. It's got a little bit of a slimmer profile right at the temple, which I love. And then a slimmer back and nape. I think the shape is absolutely gorgeous. And they've done this layering to perfection on this style. So if you've experienced Noriko styles before, you understand what I say when I say the Noriko type permatees, right? Um, it's going to be thick. It's going to be coarse and pillowy. And the upside is it's going to hold the shape of this style all day long. Like I said, it will settle some, but it's really meant to give a lot of support to this style. I'm sure they had all of that in mind. And it's well ample to cover up all of the wefting. The fibers are of a medium denier. They're very beautiful, soft, silky. They have a nice sheen to them. Not exactly shiny, just a nice healthy sheen. I love a good Noriko fiber. I think it looks beautiful. It mimics the gloss and, and sheen of natural hair. So I'll do a quick spin for you uh, for peach gold and then I'll change into the next color. We'll discuss it. I'll also do a side-by-side -side outdoor segment coming up. I'm back wearing the color Moonstone R, another new color by Noriko for fall 2020. I think I have found my favorite of the three. This color actually uh, was the first one that I opened when I got all three of these. And uh, it made me fall in love with this style. It is such a beautiful color. This Moonstone R is a creamy blend of some silvers and some white. And all of that on a natural brown root. It has a very soft appearance. And that root is blended magnificently from uh, the root out to the main body of the color. So I've seen fashion grays like this before. Uh, we have all seen them. They're very hot and on trend right now. Uh, but just due to the softness of this one, it almost looked like there's a little bit of like a platinum blonde mixed in. Um, it really softens it. It really does. and takes the blue out of it a little bit and makes it more, I think, uh, less harsh and more mainstream. I think it's really appropriate for all ages. So this one, I just love flirting with these layers. Look at this layering. I mean, you, the style is the same on all three, but like I said, this is the first one that I took it out and I put it on I'm like, wow. I mean, I just love this style. And that's just a personal, that's just a personal preference here, but I was very surprised. This style is sophisticated, but not stiff, if you understand my meaning. A lot of times to get that sophisticated, you know, news anchor look, you have to use product, you have to use hairspray, it, it appears very stiff. This is very casually, casual in its movement. 
you can just tossle this all day long and get all kinds of different looks from it. It's feathery light, the layers. So now for the third color, I wanna do something special. I wanna do an unboxing, just so you know what to expect when you pull this style out of the box and uh, prepare to apply it. And that way you can help you manage your expectations. So here is the next Nima I'm going to show you. And you'll see that it's in the color Sugar Cane. When I ordered this, I thought I was buying it in Sugar Cane R because I was kind of in a hurry. So don't forget, they don't offer Sugar Cane R on this one. They only offer Sugar Cane. So this is not rooted. Typical Noriko packaging, nothing new here. Inside of the tissue paper, all right, that's nestled in there. Um, there is no net on this one. I don't remember if there was on the other two. I'll have to check on that, but this particular one did not come with a net. It's well packaged and secured. It's on one of these little wig, cardboard wig forms here. We've all seen these before. That helps keep the uh, the part kind of separated and uh, keeps the fibers from moving around a whole lot. So there we go. Here's the sugar cane. Not sugar cane R, just regular sugar cane. Um, this one seems a little different than the ones I've seen in the past. Of course, I've had mostly rooted sugar cane, but this, this is supposed to be like a 50-50 blend of some platinum and some strawberry, some light strawberry blonde. So it does have some warmth and some ash to it. Um, that's also blended in with just a touch of a light auburn. So all over, this is a warm color. I have seen some applications of Sugarcane R that to me were more neutral to ash, probably because they had more of that ash platinum blended in and then combined with the darker root, you got more of an ash appearance. But this particular one is a warm shade. I'll go ahead and apply. Now, the first thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna remove these tags. And these are probably the most bothersome tags in the industry, aren't, aren't they? If you are, are trying to work around them. And then what I'm gonna do is just shake it out really well. And I'll show you exactly how it comes looking right out of the box. Okay, here it is uh, right out of the box. So um, I just shook it out, applied it, made my adjustments. One thing that you will notice on this is that when you apply it, it kind of wants to part on the right. I think I prefer that. I don't know. I think it's beautiful, but the way it's laying, laying there uh, with just a slight right-hand part with a sweeping fringe across the eyebrow. Again, lots of volume. This fringe seems a little more floppy than the other two. Just have to divide it around the face in a way that's gonna work for you. If you're like me, you really like to find a solution for the bangs because the last thing you want is for them to be flopping in the face when you need to be focused on something else. It's very annoying and I have, I have let go of really beautiful styles before just because um, they were kind of annoying when it comes to getting in the face. So you've got that four to five and a half inch fringe, a nice voluminous crown, tapers down into about a two and a half inch nape, So permatease, we've talked about the heavy amount of permatease on this cell. I feel like it's really easy to obscure, even if you don't have a rooted color. The reason why is because these fibers stick up out of that bed of permatease. 
and it makes it a little more difficult to look down into a nesty part. The other thing you can do is uh, dirty up that part a little bit to make it less obvious of a parting space. That helps to obscure it. And obviously if you buy a rooted shade, that also helps. But I do feel like this one, you can do a really nice job of just kind of springing up the fibers to obscure the permatease at the parting space. Okay, so I am noticing, and this has to do with how the cat fits. That first one that I had in the peach gold, that one fit me very, very snugly. I didn't make any adjustments to it and it almost felt like it might be a little too tight. I know from experience with Noriko caps, they do run a little average petite. Uh, they do tend to conform to your head size over time, but I definitely wouldn't go for a Noriko regular caps uh, size if you are have of a large circumference. I just think it would be a little bit tight for you um, may give you headaches and some other discomfort. So uh, on that first one, the peach gold, that one ran very petite. Um, these, these last two are more average. I didn't make any adjustments to any of them, but these feel a little more comfortable, the last two, rather than the peach gold. The peach gold was a little petite, a little snug. These feel, the last two here feel beautiful, both on the Moonstone R and the Sugar Cane. So I don't know, there's just a little bit of inconsistency there. That's the nice thing about having several samples of the same style is that you can kind of get to know um, any trends that you're seeing. So next I'm gonna do an outdoor demo of both the Peach Gold and the Moonstone. I had this in the box at the time I was filming the outdoor clips, so I didn't. So let's talk styling for Nima. I haven't used any product on the hair. It's got a nice feathery light fiber that's easy to just flirt and tossle. I think if you wanna use a little spray bottle of water, you could really bring out this texture. The bangs, you can move all over the place. Um, so the glasses here. I find they fit nicely between the ear and the ear tab on this style. There's not a whole lot of hair there. Plus the permatease is more concentrated on the top and at the crown. So I feel like glasses uh, are a comfortable and secure fit between the ear and the ear tab. So I think what I'll do is I'll just kind of flirt with these layers a little bit. We'll see how many looks we can get. Um, I'll try to feature some styling options with all three colors.
Thanks so much for joining me today for a look at the brand new Noriko Nima for fall 2020 in three new colors or three colors, two of them new to the Noriko line. Enjoy your day, everybody. We'll see you next time.